Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at things people find hot. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. Seeing, sharing, and then noticeably reciprocating excitement. Oh, that is a really nice feeling. You know when you share something with someone and they really like it as well? And then you both are just so excited talking about the same thing and it just feels like you two are just like fated, you know? Whatever, as friends, whatever. But it's a nice feeling. I feel like this can also be anything. Just showing them a movie and then they also like it and it's just like, you know? It's just a good feeling. I really like watching it when my husband buckles or unbuckles his belt. <laughs> I think they have like a fetish for that. Isn't, isn't this like a fetish for something? Mm. When my wife wears my t-shirts as pajamas, this makes me feel so single. Right, I just want someone's t-shirt to wear, to be honest. Oh, I just want someone's hoodie. I just want, I just want someone to back hug me, that's all. A sense of humor, especially if they're capable of laughing at themselves. Some people take themselves too seriously these days. I love this. I also love it when they're okay with being like roasted playfully. Like not if the roast like hurts their feelings, but it's just something playful, you know? It's like bickering. I love that, I don't know why. It's so fun. I think it just shows how close you two are and no one's just getting offended and I just love it. Passion or interest in a subject. When their eyes light up while talking about something. Cute. Men that can cook. I'm passable myself, so no, it's not laziness. I need to find a guy who can cook with me. No, actually, I think we'll be fighting. I actually don't like it when someone's in the kitchen with me while I'm cooking. It's like, oh, get away, you know? <laughs> like, oh, I can do my thing. You're like disturbing me, distracting me. I don't like it. Thank gosh I'm single. I'm like contradicting myself, you know? Like I want something, but then I also don't want something. And... I don't know. When they zip up your backpack while you're wearing it because you forgot it was open. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> this was something I didn't know I found attractive. But what is it? Someone has done this for me before. And, okay, my heart didn't flutter. Like, like my heart didn't beat faster. I didn't, you know, I didn't have like the butterflies, right? But it just felt nice. You know, it just felt nice that someone was caring enough to do that. Or like, it just felt like they had your back kind of thing. It's a nice feeling. <laughs> this just opened a new memory in me that I forgot. Jeez. I have this weird thing where I love people reading a map, specifically where they are looking for a particular place and are concentrating very hard. So, I think someone concentrating hard on something is just attractive. I'm a 90s kid, so I'm going with a girl in a sundress and combat boots. That's attractive. I find that attractive too. I mean, yeah. It, like, it makes me want to wear it. Makes me want to look that attractive too. When a girl who usually doesn't accidentally swears. Where is this person? And that's me. Is it me you're looking for? Yeah. <laughs> Watching the guy I'm dating drive, something about seeing him handle the wheel and thinking about his hands. Woo, <laughs> jeez. Cannot relate. I can see how that's attractive though. I think when someone is like, what is it? What's the word I'm looking for? Just like so focused on something or like when they're in charge, yeah. Someone that's in charge of something, I feel like that's attractive. Oh my gosh. How am I gonna stay single? <laughs> Kindness. I get, of course. That's like, what, standard? You know, you should be kind. I feel like people have lowered their standards so much where someone that's kind, they're like, I like him because he's kind. Well, he should be kind. <laughs> So sad nowadays. A girl tying up her hair bun. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do this to my crush. Wait, I don't have one. <laughs> I don't have one. I actually don't have a crush anymore. I just stopped liking people. People are just 
just too hard for me to like now. The other day at the dinner table, all three kids were losing their stuff over various nonsense. We couldn't calm any of them because you could barely hear yourself think. And my usually rather quiet wife who avoids conflict and who I have maybe heard raise her voice on only one or two occasions roared enough for a few seconds after you could hear a pin drop. It was so sexy. What? <laughs> That's sexy? When they just snap, right? <laughs> That's sexy. You're dead. Oh my god, you're so sexy. I learned quite recently that women find hands hot. Mm, I think it's the veins, right? Men with like bigger hands and veiny hands. That's hot. I do find that hot too. It's just attractive. Yeah. You know when you see in movies and guys like, you know, do this? <laughs> A specific perfume that my significant other wears. I just don't understand why, but it really hits me differently. And I've told her as much, so she went and limited her usage of it. We'll put it on only during special occasions like a date or if she's planning to drive me to the bed, hopefully now because, oh my god. Perfume? I mean, I know perfume can be like crazy where, it, you know, it does make you crave that person like crave the smell like you just love seeing them because they smell so good i've felt that way before but gee he's not like to this extent what well, time to wear perfume <laughs> white button down shirts rolled up sleeves i can't even begin to describe the power over me same whenever i see this in movies i'm just like so attractive Woo! A really genuine smile and interest in a conversation, even if the conversation doesn't even include me. I get really turned on when I see a guy genuinely interested in the person he is talking to. I don't know why. I guess I like respectful, kind people. Same. You know when I see this, or like when someone makes eye contact a lot with someone that they're talking to, it doesn't even have to be me, but I'm just lo looking at them talking like a guy and a girl talking and he has his eyes glued onto her I'm just like oh. like there's something in that that's so attractive look at him just love his girlfriend like that or his friend whatever I don't know attractive being a good hugger how do you be a bad hugger they just like hug you so tight that you can't breathe yeah not that not into that speaking another language <laughs> Really? That's hot? Oh my god. I guess I'm hot to someone. Seeing someone write gracefully. Wow. My writing's so messy. Mm, so bad. I feel like I stopped writing for so long. That is just everywhere now. Women singing. She doesn't even have to be really good at it. Oh, really? Oh no, I can't. My singing is like the worst. I don't think yeah, anyone will find it attractive. Smiling and laughter. That's attractive because it just shows that they want to be around you or you just feel like they're just a nice person or you just feel like they're approachable, <laughs> which is not me. I hardly do this in public. I'm just like... Because I'm shy and I don't know what to do. I'm just like that. Ponytails. Oh, I've heard about this so many times. Apparently guys love love it when girls have the hair in a ponytail because they can see the neck right Woo! <laughs> guys who are shy i don't know why but shy ones are always really nice and some of them are super hot don't get me wrong there's some shy guys who do look a bit not nice but some shy dudes are really hot and when you speak to them they get really flustered and blush that's how me and my boyfriend met he was sitting alone in class and i had nowhere to sit so i sat next to him a few minutes in, I asked him how his day was and he got really flustered and was speaking nervously. Eventually, me and him became friends and then we got together and life's been great since. That's true, huh? I have met some guys that are shy. It's cute. It's pretty cute. But that's so weird for me though because if I know someone else that's shy, I'm not shy around them. But if someone's like too confident, then I'm shy around them. But if I meet someone else that's shy, I'm not shy. Like, I feel like I have to protect them or something. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I have met a few shy people and I just felt like I have to protect them. So I have to be the one who's like confident, you know? 
I have to be the one who orders the things for them. I have to be the one who speaks up for them. It has to be me, you know, I have to protect them. Oh my gosh. That's how I feel. Is that weird? Mm. But if it's someone that's like overly confident, then yeah, I'm just like, Too much for me well that's it for the video hope you guys enjoy tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are and as always thanks for watching hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys next time bye